In this video, we will learn how to derive the total fixed cost, variable cost, average cost, and average fixed cost from the given total cost function. The question is, given the total cost function is Tc is equal to 1 upon 5 q cube minus 1 upon 2 q square plus 2 q plus 8 q denoted is the output. Tc denoted is the total cost. We have to find out the total fixed cost first, okay? So, let's write our total cost function again. So, total cost function is equal to 1 upon 5 q cube minus 1 upon 2 q square uh, plus 2 q plus 8 okay now here you can see these three terms denote our variable cost and this last term denote the fixed cost why because total cost will change with the change in output here because q is in each of the first three terms and fixed cost is is 8 it does not depend upon the level of output whether the output is 0 or anything fixed cost will remain same that means this fixed cost which is 8 here it does not depend upon the level of output okay but the first three terms actually depend upon the Q okay last term does not depend upon the Q that means it is the fixed cost and first three terms are the variable cost because they change total cost will change with the change in the output okay so first three terms are variable costs and last term is fixed cost or let's write it here uh, that means our variable cost is equal to 1 upon 5 q cube minus 1 upon 2 q square uh, plus 2 q this is our variable cost fixed cost is simply our 8 okay this does not depend upon the level of output first thing we need to find out the total fixed cost so our total fixed cost or fixed cost is equal to 8 so this is uh, our total fixed cost will be equal to 8 and our variable cost as we have calculated it came out to be 1 upon 5 q cube minus 1 upon 2 q square plus 2 q because this depends upon the level of output third part is to find out the average cost okay average cost when we are being told it means uh, the total cost upon output okay so average cost if i write it here average cost means our total cost divided by output total cost function is this that is 1 upon 5 q cube minus 1 upon 2 q square uh, plus 2 q plus a to this we divide by the output q okay which implies it is if we divide q to each of these terms so first term will be become 1 upon 5 q raised power 4 minus second term will become 2 q cube okay simple division here it will become 2 q upon q it will become 2 plus 8 upon q will be 8 upon q okay this is our average cost so this denotes our average cost which is uh, 1 upon 5 q raised power 4 minus 1 upon 2 q cube uh, plus 2 plus 8 upon q now last is average sorry d part is average fixed cost average fixed cost will be equal to our total fixed cost upon output okay so total fixed cost is 8 to this we divide by output this becomes our average fixed cost so it is 8 upon q last is show that average total cost is equal to average variable cost plus average fixed cost for that we need to calculate the average variable cost first okay this is our average cost here so our average variable cost will be equal to the variable cost upon output okay so variable cost is this function 1 upon 5 q cube minus 1 upon 2 q square uh, plus 2 q okay this is our average variable cost to, to this we divide by the output so dividing each term with q first term will become 1 upon 5 q raised power 4 second term will become 1 upon 2 q cube and third term will become only 2 q upon q is 2 okay this denotes our average variable cost now what is our average total cost okay so 
uh, we need to calculate the average total cost also so AC it is all actually our average total cost okay or in place of AC we can write average total cost average total cost so our average total cost you can see our average total cost is 1 upon 5 q raised power 4 minus 1 upon 2 q cube uh, plus 2 upon 8 upon 4 this is our average total cost now you can check it here what is our average variable cost we calculated it it came out to be 1 upon 5 k raised power, k raised power 4 minus 1 upon 2 q cube plus 2 okay this is our uh, you know the average variable cost this denotes our average variable cost what is our average fixed cost it is 8 upon 4 okay so we have plus 8 upon sorry q now you can see this denotes our average total cost now the uh, addition of average variable cost plus average fixed cost is actually equal to the average total cost you can see each of the term on rhs is exactly the term at or in lhs okay that means our average total cost this is our average total cost is actually equal to average variable cost plus average fixed cost i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you